Welcome back to Pleasant View. Today we're going to be playing the Burbs and the Oldies. We're going to be getting the Burbs settled into Pleasant View and we're going to go over the backstory for the Oldie family. Plus, there's going to be an adoption. The Burb family is currently in the Simbin. They are waiting to be placed into their new home. Their bio says John, Jennifer, and young Lucy have decided to trade the fast-paced city life for some fresh air and hope to make a nice home here in Pleasant View. So they're ready to move in. We're going to be moving them in here to 225 Main Street. I have already furnished the home for them. Now they don't currently have enough money to purchase it, so I am going to cheat a little bit because I don't think at their age they would have the base amount of money. I think they would have a little bit of cash saved up to purchase a fully furnished home home in Pleasant View or else why would they move here? So I'm going to cheat a little bit and give them the 35k they need for the furnished house. And the Burbs are now moving into their new home in Pleasant View. And I'll give you a tour of the house as well. The Burbs were one of the original families from Old Town in The Sims 1 Unleash. After John's father Brad died, he and his family moved back to Sim City because that's where his mom Tiffany wanted to live in her old age. Now that Tiffany has passed away, John and Jennifer have decided to move back to Pleasant View to raise their daughter Lucy. Uh, they didn't want to raise her in the city environment. They wanted more of a small town environment for her. Here is the bottom floor of the house. House. And here is the top floor. So John started dating Jennifer Pleasant, who is Daniel Pleasant's little sister, by the way, when they were still teenagers and they continued seeing each other throughout college, married after graduation, and Lucy was born several years later. John's a family sim and all he wants is to have more children and raise them in a big house in the suburbs. Jennifer, on the other hand, is a career-oriented fortune sim. Although they're very different, they do complement each other very well and they have a very happy marriage. So this is their, their very basically furnished home. Of course, this is Lucy's room over here and this is uh, John and Jennifer's room. We have two bathrooms, washer and dryer, uh, and all that good stuff. Now the first thing John wants to do is have a baby, so we're going to lock that in so they can try for baby as soon as possible. Jennifer wants to get a job in the business career, and the family only has 72 simoleons, so she's going to have to get a job pretty quick. Let's talk personalities very briefly. So John, of course, is a family sim. He is a, an Aries. He's very playful and nice. His bio says John Burb fondly remembers the hours he used to spend weeding and watering his parents' garden. He hopes to continue the tradition. So we will definitely have to get a garden started for John here. He's interested in crime, food, health, money, fashion, and travel. Turn-ons include aliens. Once again, how many Sims in Pleasant View have the alien turn-on? That is really weird. Maybe we're going to have to have an alien invasion here. And uh, charisma. His turn-off is zombieism. Well, believe it or not, John is a secondary romance Sim. <laughs> That's going to cause some serious drama if he starts rolling once to woohoo with other women or date other women. I've always seen John as a strong family guy, but he does have this romantic side. Maybe all of his romance will be for Jennifer and not for other ladies. We're just going to have to wait and find out. John is getting a degree in psychology with a randomized GPA. It looks like he graduated with honors. Jeez. Now let's talk about Jennifer. She is obviously a fortune sim. She's a very outgoing Gemini. Her bio says, Jennifer used to dream of being a soccer superstar, but now she's quite happy to focus on being fashionable and stylish instead. <laughs> That's a nod to her character in The Sims 1. And she's interested in work, money, entertainment, culture, travel, and animals. Her turn-ons include gray hair and mechanical, and her turn-off is fatness. And I cannot believe this, guys. Jennifer got the most points in the secondary aspiration calculator in romance. She and John are both secondary romance sims. I don't know what's going to happen with this family now. I hope that their romance is all for each other. Look at this. They're already doing autonomous romantic interactions. But that means nothing. They could keep rolling once to woohoo with different sims. So we may have some affairs and drama in this family. I don't know. Jennifer gets a degree in economics. With a randomized GPA, I'm going to give them their additional want slot. And finally, 
lifetime want. So John's lifetime want is to marry off six children. I think that's a great want for him, so I'm going to let him keep it. Jennifer, on the other hand, wants to work in the business career. Jennifer's lifetime want is now to become business tycoon, level 10 in the business career. Let's talk Lucy. So, Lucy's just a little girl. She doesn't have a, an aspiration yet, although she does have a hidden family token aspiration, so we will be ch making her a family sim when she ages up. She currently has a B in school. She's interested in entertainment entertainment, environment, animals, just like her mom, and she is quite playful. Her bio says, little Lucy has a knack for getting into trouble, but she's so cute and friendly that most people never notice. So that's the Burb family. They're all settled into their house now. Let me sell this diploma. We're going to leave them here and we're going to go check on the oldies and see what they're up to. So it's always bothered me that the oldies are in the bin when you start playing Pleasant View. So I pretended that they aren't in the bin because they've been living here in Pleasant View for 25 years. So they wouldn't be just sitting around in the bin. They would have been in a house here. This is the house that Mary Sue grew up in right across from the park at 95 Woodland Drive. The oldies are simply one of the nicest families around. Their years together through good and bad have made them into the wonderful parents and grandparents they are today. So let's go have a look at their house. Herb and Coral Oldie are standing outside now uh, telling a dirty joke to each other. That's nice. And this is their home. Let's go inside. I want to show you guys what the inside of their house looks like. So I tried to make it like grandmother's house. I wanted it to look like old people lived here. So I used a lot of the country uh, items from Seasons. You can see here, this is the kitchen. I wanted to feel like they had been living here for years and years and years. So here's the dining room. This is Mary Sue's old bedroom, and it's just kind of plain. There's not too much in it right now because, of course, Mary Sue took all her stuff with her when she went to college. This is Herb and Coral's bedroom over here. And this is the bathroom. I used pretty much only the season stuff. I used a couple things from a couple other packs, but I really wanted it to look kind of old and antiquated, like when you go to Grandma's house. So like I was saying before, the oldies moved to Pleasant View about 25 years ago after they adopted Mary Sue Pleasant. That's right, the oldies are the adoptive parents of Mary Sue Pleasant. They tried for a baby of their own, but they couldn't conceive, so they chose to adopt a child from Takamizu Village. In those days, there were a lot of baby girls without homes, and they fell in love with Mary Sue when they met her for the first time at the orphanage. Herb and Coral have always been happily married, despite Herb's romantic tendencies. He retired from the business career track many years ago and has been enjoying spending his retirement with his wife, Coral. Coral was a stay-at-home mom to Mary Sue and remained a homemaker after her daughter grew up and moved out. So let's briefly go over their personalities and then the oldies are going to be adopting a second daughter. So like I said, Herb is a romance sim. He's retired from the business career track. He used to be an executive. He is a Libra. He's very outgoing, playful, and quite nice. His bio says, if being a crafty businessman, loving father, and reasonably reliable husband takes a lot of energy, then Herb oldie has led an exhausting life. His interests include entertainment, food, health, culture, and travel, also weather. His turn-ons are makeup and witchiness. <laughs> wow, he likes witches, okay. And his turn-off is brown hair. Okay, I just pressed play so I could give Herb his college diploma, and his joke did not go over well with Coral, his dirty joke, and check this out. They just fell out of love. She was so offended by whatever he said. <laughs> and he had a fear that she wouldn't like his joke, so he's gone into, nearly gone into aspiration failure. Or he's had a fear of falling out of love or something. I don't know what it was. They're both in aspiration failure. Oh my god. What did Herb say? He said something absolutely terrible to her, and it put them both into aspiration failure. Wow, I guess they feared, I didn't see what their fear was. I'll probably see it whenever I edit this back, but I guess their fear was falling out of love or something like that because it was a big fear. And check this out, now she wants to fall in love with Herb again. I guess we can lock that in for her. So the therapist has come. <laughs> I have never had them go into aspiration failure upon the very first interaction on loading the lot. Wow. <laughs> So maybe this therapist can help them get them out of this funk. And I guess this could explain 
you know, Herb and Coral, they've been happily married all this time, but Herb is going to probably start cheating on Coral, uh, Coral, and maybe this is why. We're going to give him a degree in economics. They kind of fell out of love in their old age. Wow. <laughs> Okay, let's give him his want slot. I did not see that coming. That's just the things that happen whenever you play The Sims. He wants to flirt with Coral, so I'm going to lock that in. I've calculated Herb's secondary aspiration, and he is a secondary popularity sim, which always makes sense to me whenever romance sims have a secondary pop, uh, popularity aspiration. And Herb's lifetime want is to woohoo with 20 different sims. So far, he's an elder, and he's only woohooed with one, so we'll see how that goes for him. Coral, of course, did not go to college, so she is not getting a college diploma. Coral is a family sim, but I just calculated her secondary aspiration, and she is a secondary romance. Oh my goodness. So, this is going to make Coral and Herb a lot more interesting to play. Coral's lifetime want is to have six grandchildren. So far, she has two, so I don't know if she's going to make it. I just realized her aspiration level is creepy crone. <laughs> Okay, Herb and Coral have decided that they're going to adopt another child in their old age. There are several children who need homes in Pleasant View, and I would really like for them to be more than just friends. I would like for them to have the love back in their relationship. So, he, uh, Herb wants to flirt with Coral, and she wants to fall in love with him again. Let's do that really quick and see if we can get that love back for them. I mean, I just can't even imagine what terrible, horrible, disgusting thing that Herb said to her to make her fall out of love with him. And they both go into aspiration failure. Okay, they're back to crush. Um, okay, so I guess their love is back. Coral got that want uh, realized. So I'm doing something a little bit differently with my adoptions. Um, there are no children right now in the adoption pool, and we are not going to create new townies. Instead, we're going to use the townie children that already exist in Pleasant View. Now, we don't have an orphanage. This, the social worker is going to come down from SimCity, bring the girls over, and Herb and Coral are going to interact with them and see which child they think fits their family best. I know it seems a little bit creepy that they're just going to choose a child like a product on a shelf, but we really have no other way <laughs> to go about this. They're going to have to get to know the girls and see which one they like. So we're going to have a, a meetup at the park today. Herb and Coral have just arrived at Woodland Park across the street where they're going to meet with the towny children who are available for adoption. So they're waiting here on the social worker to bring the girls over. I am going to, if you want to know technically how I'm going to do this, oh great it's raining. I am going to use the Sim Blender, which I have already placed on the lot, to teleport the townie children over, and then we'll have Herb and Coral uh, interact, or we'll see if Herb, Herb and Coral interact with them. Okay, the children are here. They have been dropped off by the social worker for a day with Herb and Coral. This is Chloe Gonzaga. Brittany Parker, and Marsha Brunig. These are the three female townies that are available in Pleasant View whenever you start the game. So we're going to have Coral go over and uh, greet them, and then we'll actually have Herb do the same, and then we'll see what their relationship scores look like, or see if they sort of favor one child over the other. I'm not really 100% sure how I'm going to make this decision. I think I'm just going to base it on whichever child they have the highest relationship with at the end of the day. And we'll say they, they stay here until 4 or 5 p.m. Coral's coming to greet Marsha. I can't help it, but Marsha is my favorite of the townie children. Come back here, Chloe. Okay, so for some reason, Chloe is leaving. <laughs> She's like, I want to go home. I don't like you guys, so I guess Chloe is out. I suppose I should have made them selectable, but I didn't think of that, so the choice now is going to be between Marsha and Brittany. That's fine with me because that, that makes our choice easier, actually. Let's have Herb go and greet them as well. They were playing tag together. That was so cute. I don't know what Chloe's deal with. Chloe's deal was. She was like, I don't want to be adopted today. I'm out. I'm out of here. <laughs> So Herb is going to greet Marsha, and Herb has rolled the want to talk to Marsha. That's nice. Um, let's have him talk to her. Maybe he likes her. He's like, hello. How would you like to come live with us and age up well in our nice house? And she's like, yes. <laughs> And now he wants to play with her. Oh my gosh, he hasn't even introduced himself to the other child. He just took a liking to Marsha right away. 
So let's play uh, catch. And once again, he wants to tell her a joke. I really think Marsha might be the one. Herb really uh, seems to like Marsha. Let's entertain her with the joke. I'm going to check on Coral real quick. She has no wants for the children. Okay, Herb and Marsha are getting along very, very well. And But he's done with her now. <laughs> They played catch together. They told some jokes. They had a good time. Now I'm looking for the other kid. So I think Brittany has gone. I haven't been able to find her on the lot. So the only child that stayed was Marsha. And Marsha and Herb are getting along so well. It is so cute. Um, they have a relationship of 20 over 4. So I think they're going to invite... They're going to ask Marsha if she would like to become part of the oldie family. And if she would like to be their daughter. Uh-oh, Jennifer Burb is getting mugged by the unsavory charlatan. Wow. Sorry, Jennifer. You gotta watch out for that guy. I think I'm gonna ban him from the uh, park because we don't need a, a creepy monocle-wearing mugger at the park where the families go to, pl to play. Oh my god, how adorable is this? I just looked over and Herb was pushing Coral in the swing. That was so cute. <laughs> It's almost 6 p.m. and the oldies are back home. Coral is going to the phone to call the adoption agency and tell them that they would like to ado adopt Marsha Brunick. So we're going to go adoption service. And she's going to come by and drop off the new family member shortly. So I'm trying a different mo a different version of the adoption mod that is hopefully going to make towny children adoptable. If it doesn't work, then we'll go back and use the old method of using the Sim Blender. Coral is going to start working on dinner while they wait on Marsha to arrive. Okay, so we get a pop-up that asks if we want to adopt a townie or custom. We're going to choose townie. And we should get a dialogue box that has all the townie children and teens. Yes, it works. Okay, awesome. I'm going to put a link to this down below. Um, my old video for how to adopt a townie will become obsolete <laughs> because of this mod that is actually working for me now. Um, so let's see. You could still do do it the other way with the Sim Blender if you wanted to, but this just seems a lot easier. You don't have to add the memories and things yourself. So we're going to choose Marsha Brunick. And here comes the social worker to drop her off. Let's have Herb come out here and greet her. Maybe. Come greet her. Come give her a hug. Oh, and look, they both got the memory of adoption. So let's check uh, their memory panels here. That is so much easier. Yeah. Um, adopted Marsha. Yay. Okay. Well, Marsha is now a family member. She is now Marsha Oldie. She's no longer Marsha Brunig. And if we look at her family tree, we see here that she is now the adopted sister of Mary Sue and the daughter of Herb and Coral. Yay. I am so happy. And check it out. She's friends with Meadow Thayer. And Coral has just finished making a nice dinner of spaghetti to welcome Marsha into the house. So everybody come eat together. I think Marsha is going to be a little bit of a daddy's girl. She seems to get along with Herb a lot better. Um, it's not that she doesn't get along with Coral. It's just she she and Herb have some kind of special connection. So get in here and eat dinner, guys. Even though you're not hungry, I want you guys to have a family dinner together. So this worked out very well. Marsha Brunig is the newest uh, playable sim in Pleasant View. She will be marrying in, most likely she will be marrying uh, Bo Broke because I always have the oldies adopt a little girl because Bo doesn't have any romantic prospects as far as playable sins. And he's just talking about how happy he is that they adopted Marsha and they're so happy to have her here in their family. And I think it's great, you know, to take a homeless townie child and bring her into a loving family like this. Herb and Coral, despite their romantic tendencies, are really good parents. They always encourage Mary Sue to do her best and they're going to do the same for Marsha. So this is Marsha's bedroom over here. She doesn't have any toys or anything, so I think we'll go ahead and buy her just a toy box. And of course, that's what uh, Coral wants to buy a crib, a changing table. Okay, she wants to buy baby stuff. No, we're gonna buy a toy. I like to make sure all children have at least just a basic toy box so they have some toys to play with. Wow, uh, Marsha and Coral just had a negative interaction. They did not get along. Wow, that really hurt their relationship.
That is very strange. I hope that they start getting along better. I don't know if Marsha maybe has some issues with female figures in her life, and that's why she's taken to Cor uh, Herb so much and not so much to Coral. But we'll have to keep an eye on that relationship. I know Coral's going to do her best to make her feel welcome in the family. So question of the day, what do you do with the oldie family? Do you have them adopt, raise animals, or just live out their lives together. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you play the oldies. I'm always curious to hear how other people um, deal with them in Pleasant View. I hope you guys enjoyed this setup episode for the burbs and the oldies. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. And I've got a very special episode coming up for you guys. The last episode in season one. We've got two very special sims that are going to be joining the Pleasant View rotation. And then we're on to season two. 100% gameplay in those videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you with a new episode very soon.